Hello, welcome to this video is Lena Tech from DataLena.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to farm crypto using the OKS chain platform. So I already made a previous video of this, but that was on the desktop version of it. So this time around, I'm going to do the mobile version of it, walk you step by step on how to do this with your mobile phone. And in order to be able to follow since 90% of you who follow me on YouTube actually I'm um, using mobile phones so I'm going to show you on how to do this with your mobile phone step by step and the platform we'll be leveraging on is the OKS chain platform this is the platform we're going to use um, because um, when it comes to crypto making money I've said in previous videos that there are diverse ways you can make money in the crypto space um, which the most popular that we know is trading and some persons are having finding it difficult actually when it comes to technical analysis how to enter a profitable trade and so on so that is the essence of this one because you need to farm this you don't really need to do technical analysis but you'll be earning money every now and then and you don't really need um, KYC to actually start um, profiting from farming crypto and in the crypto space it is called yield farming yield farming is a, a method where you actually make money with your crypto and what we'll be leveraging on once again is the OKS chain trading platform um, which is the decentralized exchange of OKX centralized exchange and the native token for the OKS chain is the OKT which is what we'll be using and in order to do this let me just jump to the mobile phone and show you how to actually work them set up this step by step so here on the phone first we'll need to go to play store and then when we go to play store we want to install this token pocket this is the token pocket wallet this is what you want to install you go ahead and click on it to install this on your phone this is the app we are going to use um, this is what we're going to get our OKS wallet from and then we can now link it up you know get our OKS token and then start using it to set up the wallet so I just go ahead go to your Play Store or your App Store type the token pocket and then install it once you install that we'll go to the next step all right so this has been installed successfully so all we need to do is to go ahead and click on it to open it up and once we click on it to open it up we are going to either choose whatever will belong if you have an account already if you want to manage your account with the mobile phone you just go ahead and click on i have an account then you can log into your account but if you don't have an account already i want to assume that you don't have an account so i'm just going to click on create a new account create now so go ahead and click on the second option um, let me go back there again um, so here you have if you can see my mouse here here you have no account so go ahead and click on no account create now and here is where we are going to create our wallet so we're going to create the HD wallet here and then the wallet we want to create is the OKS chain wallet so you go ahead and select the OKS chain you see that there are different wallet with the token wallet here um, you see different wallets here that you can create but in this case we are going to create OKS wallet and under the OKS wallet um, you, you can have your Binance Smart Chain you can have the Polygon a whole lot that the OKS wallet um, actually support which I'll show you in a moment so we'll go ahead and click on the OKS chain go ahead and click on that and once we we'll click on the OKS chain here we'll go ahead and click on create wallet and then when we we'll click on create wallet here you are going to actually set up um set a password and then confirm the password and put a hint and after that we'll go ahead and accept the terms and condition and click on create wallet all right so you create a name here set a wallet name you can go ahead and name it whatever you want then put in password and then confirm the password after confirming the password you need to put a hint here this is optional you can go ahead and put a hint after that go ahead and check this and after that you go ahead and click on wallet create wallet and here you are one not to take a screenshot of your phrases your secret phrases this is what the backup to back this is used to back up your wallet so you are asked not to take screenshot of this so just go ahead and click on i got it you just go ahead and click on i got it here so just go ahead and click on that and then the phrase will pop up for security reason i'm not going to review this phrase but you you are going to see your own phrase here so um we'll just go ahead and use this phrase so what you want to do is to make sure that you actually um, keep this thing somewhere safe. You can just um, make sure you copy this thing somewhere the way it is arranged. As it is arranged, make sure you write it down somewhere. Or you can come, click on the copy here where it says copy uh, 
at this number here just go ahead and click on this copy icon here so you click on it to copy and after that you go ahead and click on complete backup verified now so you go ahead and click on that and you now be asked to put in these details according to what you copy so this is what you are going to put on the backup here according to what you copied so we go ahead and place it one after the other and after that we'll go ahead and click on confirm so let me quickly do that all right so after currently putting in the details as it was sent to you just go ahead and click on confirm so i just go ahead and put in confirm and that is it a wallet has been created for you so just go ahead and click on i got it and this is the oks chain wallet that has been created for us here and um, the next thing we'll need to do now is you can follow the on-screen instruction actually to navigate through the wallet and so on so we'll just go ahead and click on the OKS. all right so now that we've successfully created the wallet the next thing is to fund this wallet and after funding this wallet we are going to click on discover down here where it says discover this is where we are going to see all of the swaps that are integrated with the OKS chain platform so these are all the DAFs that are decentralized application actually that are integrated or with that are linked up with the OKS chain platform. And what we are looking at to start farming with is this one called Cherry Swap. So if I click on it, if you go ahead and click on I got it, it opens up Cherry Swap. So this is what we are going to use and everything will be managed on our phone. You don't really need the desktop version of it. That's the essence of me making this video. So everything will be managed there on, on our phone. And since the native token of Cherry Swap is OKT, we will need to first go and get the OKT and then come back here to link it up and then start farming with the Cherry Swap platform. So in order to do that, we just need to click on connect to connect to our wallet and we want to connect to the um, OKX wallet here, which is the first one. You can go ahead and click on connect. And that will automatically be connected you can see this is our wallet address here right now we don't have any okt so the first the next thing we need to do now is to buy okt and then come back here to link it up so if i go back here to our wallet we just go back to the wallet here and then come in here to copy the wallet address we just click on receive so once we click on receive this is our okt wallet and uh, this is where we're going to copy send the wallet the okt we are going to buy here so i'll go ahead and click on this to copy it and confirm and after that i'll minimize this and the next thing i want to do is to open okx wallet to open my okx exchange the the app to buy okt this time around so we're going to buy okt after buying okt we'll send it to the wallet we just copied now before we go into the farming aspect of it so here i'll go down here to where it says trade so I'll go ahead and click on trade. If I scroll down here, you see that at the point of making this video, OKT is about $76, which is the right time to buy. So I'll go ahead and click on trade. When I click on trade, just go ahead and log in. So once I log in, at the top here, we want to click here to select the coin we want to trade. So in this case, we want to trade OKT. So once I click there, I'll go ahead and type in the ticker here, which is OKT. Once I type in OKT, you are going to trade um, this one, which is OKT USDT. So I'll go ahead and click on it. So when I select OKT USDT, I want to buy. That is what we actually, that is where our concern is. So I'll go ahead and click on buy. And I'll select here where it says limit order. I want to buy with the market order. So I'll go ahead and click on market order. All right. So once I change this from limit order to market order, the next thing I want to do now is to come in here to where it says total. I'll just click on the total here and then select amount. So we'll just click amount and then the amount of OKT you want to buy is um, three. So you go ahead and put in three OKT there. And after that, you click on buy OKT. So I'll go ahead and click on buy OKT and then click on confirm. And once I click that, if I come in here to the cell tab, you will see that we now have three OKT available. So the next thing we want to do is to go to asset. Once we are on the asset, asset is down here. This are the down right hand side there. So you click on asset and then you want to click on withdraw. So I'll go ahead and click on withdrawer. And then when I click on withdraw, we want to withdraw OKT. So you go ahead and select, you see OKT. If you don't see it, you can use the search icon at the top here to search for OKT. So, but since it is there, we'll go ahead and select OKT. And once we select OKT, 
uh, we are going to withdraw this with the OKT OKS chain and all I just need to do I have an ad a wallet address here already so I just go ahead and click on add address so it's because I have one already that's why it was showing up here so in this case I'm going to add address book so I just go ahead and hold here to paste that address we copied this is the one we copied here so you can add a note if you want to you can just go ahead and add a note if you want uh, if you want to and then the amount we want to withdraw here will be all so I just go ahead and click on all and we want to withdraw we have those balance in our trading account so go ahead and select your trading account select the funding account as well and then this is the fee we are going to be charged and I just go ahead and click on submit So once we click on all we just go ahead and scroll down and then click on submit and here we are going to do our two-factor authenticator which we are going to put the um, admin password then we'll put the email code and then the sms code so i'll go ahead and send all of this code and once we receive them we can just fill in those details here so i just received the sms i'll go ahead and paste the sms here and then the next thing is the email zone which is this code here so i'll go ahead and select copy it come back to the oks wallet and um, paste the email code so after you've pasted all of this code put your admin password and at the end of the day you go ahead and click on confirm and request submitted so we just go ahead and click on view record and as you can see this is transferring here as it says here it says transferring so we'll just wait for this to transfer and once it is done we'll now go back to the token and wallet again to link up everything and start farming with this platform and start seeing result immediately all right as you can see on my email right here after a few seconds withdrawal has been approved so let's just go back to the token wallet so here on the token wallet if I go ahead and refresh this you see that everything is now reflecting here so we now have some OKT in our wallet right here as you can see this is the OKT balance we have what this amount so the next thing we want to do since we have OKT which is the native token of the cherry we will be using to farm we'll now go and select here we will see discover so here we'll go ahead and click on discover and then we are going to click on the cherry swap so you go ahead and click on cherry swap and that will open up cherry swap so once that opens up cherry swap remember that we already linked our wallet we already connected our wallet if not all you just need to do is to click on the wallet here and you see that it has been connected already if not if it is disconnected you click on it to connect and then you select the okt wallet so once you select the OKT wallet, first before we actually, um, there are a few steps we need to follow here. If I click on the menu here, once I click on the menu, you see that we start from the exchange. Since we have OKT, we need to first convert using the exchange platform here to convert OKT to CHE. And then after, currently the price of CHE is about $1.92 so after converting then we'll go to the liquidity tab after on the liquidity tab we are going to become liquidity providers so we come in here to provide liquidity and after that we'll go to the farming to farm with the liquidity that we have provided so first step is to come in here to the exchange and we want to exchange um, from okt the first one here then we'll select the currency tapping here to che so we'll just go ahead and type che and type that so once we select that is what now the essence of this is for instance if i come in here to the farm tab let me show you something here first the reason why i'm converting from okt to che is because the farm that i want to carry let me click on the farm tab the farm the the, the type of farm i want to do here is the combination of the okt and the che che the cherry swap token why the okt which is the main main native token of the cherry swap and the oks exchange is what we are going to use so on the farm tab here if i come in here you see different pairs of currencies of coins that your tokens that you can you can farm the first one here is the chee okt meaning we have need to have chee and then okt token to be able to farm this and then the apro you see that is about 765 percent 
so this is the first one and the second one is the CHE USDT it means you need to have USDT and CHE to be able to farm this and the percentage you get is about 695 percent the next one is OKT USDT it means you need to have OKT and USDT to be able to farm this the next one is OKB USDT so all of this combination means that you need to have two of this coin to be able to farm so for this example we are going to use the first one here which is the CHE OKT and currently what I have on my wallet is only OKT so first I'll convert part of those OKT to CHE and then after converting it to CHE I will now come back here to the farm to start farming with it so that is what we are going to do so if I click on the menu again so once we click on the menu we just click on exchange and then from the exchange we want to exchange from OKT to CHE so I select here and go ahead and type in CHE so once I type in CHE the next thing now is to add the number of OKT you want to convert for instance if I want to convert one and it will tell me that I will receive 39 um, CHE in return so I'll go ahead and click on unlock wallet and you know just click on connect the word we want to connect here is the okt wallet so we'll go ahead and select the okt wallet and we'll go ahead and click on swap and confirm swap so just go ahead and click on confirm payment and you will need to add your password to verify this so we'll go ahead and, and add our password so the password you are adding here is actually the password you created when you were creating this wallet so go ahead and add that and, and confirm And that has been successfully confirmed so I go ahead and click on close it now means that we now have some CHE so that is the first step we have converted to CHE the next step we need to do now is to um, now become liquidity providers so we'll go to the menu again and then we'll go ahead and click on liquidity and we'll go ahead and click on add liquidity and then the on the add liquidity we want to select um, the CHE and after selecting the CHE, the next current uh, currency will not will, the next coin token we want to select is the OKT. So once we select the OKT on the CHE, we we'll go ahead and click on Max. This is what we have, and this is what we're going to give us to the OKT. So you go ahead and click on Approve CHE. So you go ahead and confirm this again, confirm payment, and you go ahead and add password again. After adding your password, go ahead and click on Confirm. Alright, so once you confirm that and the transaction is confirmed, you go ahead and click on supply and click on confirm. Now, in all of this confirm supply that you are doing, make sure that you have some OKT in your wallet because that's what you'll be using to confirm the transaction. You need, since OKT is the native um, um, token for this platform, you need to have some OKT in your wallet to be confirming this transaction. So I go ahead and click on confirm supply. And that will pull up our wallet again here as you can see this is the transaction fee the gas fee we are going to pay and it is paid in okt so you must have okt in your balance to be able to pay for all of this gas fee so we'll go ahead and click on confirm and we need to add another password again so once you add password click on confirm and then go ahead and click on close now we are we now have some liquidity here so if i click on the, um, you see that we have added this liquidity here this is what we have so the next thing is to go to the menu again and on the menu we need to go to the farm so here on the farm tab we want to farm this first one which is the tokens that we have we write here CHE and OKT so I'll go ahead and click on this arrow and then I'll go ahead and click on enable and once I click on enable I'll go ahead and click on confirm and add a password after adding a password click on confirm and that has been um, enabled so now that it has been enabled the next thing we want to do is to click on this plus button here this plus icon here so click on the plus and then we are going to click on max this is what we are going to add and click on confirm so clicking on confirm will pop up this again remember once again you need to have okt to be paying for all of these gas fees so you go ahead and click on confirm and add the password all right so that has been successfully confirmed and we are now um start any you can see that we have started earning already it is that fast so already we are earning here already you can see that chen is this so in staking this we actually are making profit already 
and before you know it it will keep climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing now if you want to add more to this right now you see that the balance we have here what we are taking the chio kt stick is about 5.8 so if you want to add more to this it means that we need to go let's say we bought more okt so in all of these transactions that i've carried out if i go back to my wallet let me just go back to the wallet now here we are on the token wallet so if i come in here you'll see that in all of those transactions that we've carried out we now we are now left out of three okt we are now left with just one okt so basically when we're providing this if i go to the discover again and go to cherry swap remember that here what we did first was to convert from okt we had three okt and then we converted one okt to chd that is one that means when we converted one we were left with one two okt in our wallet then the next step we did was to provide become liquidity provider by going to the menu and then going to liquidity when we came to liquidity um, to provide liquidity when we added liquidity we added both okt and chd so what this simply does is that you must have some balance in your okt and then have some balance in your chd to be able to become a liquidity provider so the chd that i added here the number of CHD I added here is equivalent to one OKT. So the combination of that automatically, this um, will deduct one OKT from my wallet and then add it up to the CHD we initially converted and now use that to become a liquidity provider. So in providing, in becoming a liquidity provider, we can now use that now to now start farming. So presently, we still have one OKT in my wallet. And if I want to add more to the farming that I have here already, so if I come to menu and I go ahead and click on farm. Here you see that we are staking the CHE OKT already. If I want to add more to this, I have 5.8 here. And as you can see, uh, we are already earning um, close to this. So before you know it, at the end of the day, we would have made one CHE or two or three, depending. So if I want to add more to this, all I just need to do is to go ahead and click on this plus button. But before I do this, I will need to provide liquidity by creating, adding a liquidity after then I cannot come and do that. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll go ahead and click that again. So I'll go ahead and click on my menu and go to exchange. And here on the exchange, I want to exchange. I still have one um, OKT here. I want to exchange again to CHE since that is what I want to take. So I'll go ahead and type in CHE here. Once I type in CHE, I want to stake, let's say, um, out of the one that I have here, I want to stake 0 0.4 for instance. So 0 0.4 will give me about 15 okt um 15 chd so i'll go ahead and click on swap and i go ahead and click on confirm confirm swap now the essence of this why i'm doing 0 0.4 is because when i go to provide liquidity i will need the equivalent of this 15 chd in okt so that's why i'm actually doing that so i'll need 15 of this in okt to be able to do that so i'll go ahead and click on swap and then after swapping i'll go to home liquidity and add liquidity after adding liquidity i'll then go and add this up to my wallet so basically that, those are the basic steps that you use make sure that you come in here to the menu after exchanging from the okt which is the native token of this this is where you start your journey from to chd you come in here now in this case it could be chd it could be um, usdt depending on what the combination of coin you want to farm here so here on the farm we have CHE, OKT, CHE, USDT, OKT, USDT. These are the things you need. So whatever you want to farm, that is what you will first convert. But since this first one has more percentage, that's why I'm using it as an example. And if I click on it again, you see that the earning keep increasing and increasing and increasing. So after providing this, after exchanging to, let's say, from the OKT to CHE, you then come to liquidity. And add liquidity after adding liquidity then to the farm and on, on the farm tab here if i want to add more i just click on the plus button click on max and click on confirm and that will be added and it will keep on increasing our earning power so right now okt is actually at 76 but i'll wait for it to increase so that i will have more chd with it i will wait for it to for the price to increase more before i can add more to this so when it increases more i can now add more to this but this is basically how to set this up and remember 
when you are adding liquidity when you come in here to the liquidity to add liquidity and i click on add when i click on add if i select OKTCHE, please this has to be equal if for any reason you select okt chhe and it's telling you that insufficient okt or insufficient um, chhe it means that the quantity or the number of chhe you have when joined together the value is more than the okt or the okt that you have is more than the chhe so you have to make it equal in that case you want to use the one that is less so when i select here you will always see if i go ahead and connect this wallet again if I select max here and um, I scroll down, it will tell you insufficient CHE. We don't have any CHE here. So the max we can receive what we need on for the CHE will be around 40. So in that case, instead of using the OKT, you go ahead and use the CHE, which you see that we don't have anyone here. So it means that we need to have this number of CHE before we can add liquidity. So liquidity is that, yeah, since it's two coins, we are going to a combination of two tokens we are going to mine. We need C O K T and then C H E to mine that. So for this to work, we need about 40 C H E to be able to use 1.028 um, O K T to create to become liquidity providers. And when we do that, whatever we the result we get, we'll now go ahead and click on approve and then supply and we go to the farm and add it up. I hope this video was helpful. This is a step by step guide on how to do all of this that I, I did initially on the desktop with the phone aspect of it. So for those of you who want to take part of this, this is how you set it up on your phone. And after doing that, if you have any question, if there is any challenge, you can always use the comment section and I will, you know, definitely help you out. And if you are out there, you want to trade crypto and you need signals to do that, there is a link to join my Telegram group to actually get started. So that is it for this video and I'll see you in my next video.